Hey everyone, in this video, I'll teach you how to create this tasty video ad using simple animation techniques in Canva. So let's jump right into it. Starting with the blank video file, to search for the flat lay food photos, just simply type top view food on the object panel and select the photos from Canva's photo library. Once you get all the photos you need, you can now erase their backgrounds using Canva Background Remover. Start by selecting a photo, press Edit Photo, and click Background Remover. Wait for a couple of seconds, and there you have it. Just repeat this process across all your images, put them on the side, and let's now move on to setting up our background shapes. Let's start creating a square by simply pressing R on your keyboard, then create another one, shrink it like so, and turn its transparency to zero. From here, you can now group them like this. So now, as you can see, the bounding box has been extended. I'll explain the reason why we laid it out like this. But for now, let's create two duplicates of the square. Let's make the first square yellow-orange, the second blue, and the third purple. From here, stretch them like this until they all become bigger than the page. Then let's put them all on the side for now. Create four new pages so we can start designing our sequences. Change the background color of the first page to purple. Then start adding this image to the page. Enlarge it like this and place it below the page, just enough to expose its upper half. Now start typing healthy using Tan Jamboree font, press enter, and make sure there's a slack below it. Scale it up and place it behind the bowl like so. Now duplicate it and apply halo effect. Stack it on top of the original text and lock it in so the bowl goes through the text without losing readability. Get the blue square. Rotate it like this, so the extension is facing left, then lay it out like this. Now get the yellow-orange square, make sure the extension is facing up, then place it on bottom of the page like so. Let's now move on to our second page. Change the background color to green, get this photo, shrink it, and place it on the center for now. Now type doesn't, stretch the bounding box sideways to leave some slack on the sides, shrink it a little bit like so, and place it on the left for now. Duplicate it, move it to the right, and overwrite the text with mean. Let's start fixing the layout by making sure that the texts are centered like this, while the bowl sits between them. Now get the yellow-orange square again, with the extension facing right. Then place the purple square under it with the extension facing left. Let's go to page 3 and change its background color to green. Get this photo, scale it up, then lay it out like this. Now start typing tasteless on the bottom area, bring your cursor before T, and press enter to create a slack on top. Then copy the same effect from page 1 to make the ball go through the text like so. Finally, on page 4, just simply type paste it and lowercase, scale it up and place it on the center, then type healthy doesn't mean tasteless in uppercase. Then color them white and yellow. From here, I'll teach you how to animate them like a pro using Canvas Match and Move. To learn more about Match and Move, simply click on my other video flashing on your screen right now. Now let's animate. Go to page 1, then make sure to arrange first your layers like this, copy paste the image, and the healthy text on page 2. On page 2, select healthy and drag it to the top until it goes out of frame, while making sure that the bounding box stays within the frame. Now select the image. Shrink it like so, send it to the top and out of frame. Then rotate it clockwise a little bit. Once it's good, 
copy-paste the image to page 1, scale it up a little bit, rotate it counterclockwise, then send it behind this image. Go back to page 2 and copy-paste the text to page 1. Now select them both, scale them up like this, and drag them to the bottom. Copy-paste this image to page 3 this time. Scale it up again, rotate it counterclockwise, and send it to the top and out of frame. Then finally, send its layer behind this image. Now, copy-paste the text again from page 2 to page 3, and do the same thing earlier, but this time, bring them to the top. On page 3, copy this image and paste it to page 2, shrink it a little bit, rotate it clockwise, and drag it to the bottom until it goes off the frame. Go back to page 3 and copy tasteless to page 2 and send it to the bottom as well. Now go to page 3 again and copy paste both the image and tasteless to page 4. Then bring them both to the bottom and rotate the image counterclockwise this time. Then on page 4, let's simply add shift text animation to taste eat and set the writing style to character and apply a send to the subtext. At this point, we can now start finalizing the duration of each pages and match and move. Once all the elements are animating smoothly, we can now top this off by animating the background shapes. Now go back to page 1, copy paste the yellow, orange, and blue shapes to page 2. Then on page 2, make sure their layers sit below the yellow, orange. Drag the blue background all the way to the right until it goes off frame. And see, this is the reason why we attach those extension layers earlier. Cause if it goes out without these extensions, the layers will get deleted. Now select the yellow, orange, and purple shapes, then copy paste them to page 3. On page 3, make sure they are behind tasteless as well. Then drag them toward the opposite side, as if you're opening a window. Do some final sweep, and you're done. And that's how you create a professional looking video ad without breaking the bank. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll love my other tutorials as well. See you on the next one.